The contemporary dish is more complicated, but all the hard work will be worth it. Tony starts by thinly slicing a whole potato on a mandolin. The slices are layered on the bottom of a tart tin, building it up slightly to make a firm base. Pop this in the oven for 20 minutes at 180 degrees to create the top of the potato peel pie. While the sliced potato is cooking, there's time to prepare the filling. This pie is made in a similar way to a carrot cake, but with grated potato and beetroot instead. Whisk three eggs in a mixing bowl until creamy. This will make the cake texture light and fluffy. Add a pinch of salt and gradually pour in seven fluid ounces of corn oil. Mix gently and fold in pre-grated onion, potato and beetroot, all the while being careful to knock out as little air as possible. In a separate bowl, add two teaspoons of baking powder to 500 grams of flour. Mix together and again fold into the potato cake mixture. Now you have your filling for the modern version of the potato peel pie. Remove the pastry tin from the oven and pour the filling on top of the cooked sliced potato. Return to the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes at 180 degrees. To contemporise the dish, Tony is combining it with some appetising additions, all locally grown or caught. Fried belly pork is accompanied by fresh cherry tomatoes something the island was famous for. Beetroot and sticking with the original theme of austerity, some wild onions Tony found in a hedgerow. These are finely chopped before being sautéed in Guernsey butter to form the base of a creamy sauce, which also includes locally produced rocket cider. For a touch of class, scallops plucked from local waters are glazed with olive oil and seared for 30 seconds on each side. And then the meal is ready to be dished up. Taking a slice of the potato peel pie, Tony adds the pork belly, scallops and local vegetables to create a dish people could only dream about during the time of the occupation.